All right, we're back for part two. Next, uh, we're next edition. Anyway, it's probably, probably part eight in the series, but whatever. It's just part two of the comments section on Nick's videos. Um, so Nick said to this speak guy who was talking about the fact that ideally we should just be trying to help each other. Um, the net maker gifted his idea to the community, the best idea, but it will not happen over the length of time due to human nature. Well, it will. No one's saying that invention that actually takes work, where you have to invest time and energy into creating the invention, like three or five years, like the Curies spent four years dismally living to discover radium okay horrible investment in time now yeah of course they deserve compensation for that time they deserve to have some um, comp you know some incentive to do that again the next people to do it again obviously the personal incentive of just discovery was their only ambition their only necessary incentive but as a as, as a practicality there's nothing wrong with paying for that it was productive labor they should be paid for it they should get an income for it they shouldn't get a lottery bonus prize they should just get a fair compensation for the four years of their life investment and risking their health and getting irradiated and having you know I mean they were irradiated I mean you know they really sacrificed a lot to do that and they should have been rewarded for it but they, like I said all the greats of history pastor the rest they all weren't sitting there saying give me the fucking money where's the fucking money that wasn't their ambition there was a problem to be solved and they wanted to solve the fucking problem that was their ambition was to help mankind we don't need selfish bastards who are just trying to help them fucking selves um all right so the speaks guy um i'd suggest a system i described in extinct what uh, i don't know what that means uh extent extinct i don't know in operation long before currency does man have to priv does man have the privilege to blame his behavior on nature? It suggests that monkeys are actually more mentally evolved than us, humans in any aspect. Well, anyway, I don't know. It's all convoluted. But the, look, the most basic point is, though, is that, yes, we can overcome our fucking nature. We can do it that fucking fast. We can recognize when we're being a bigot or a racist or an asshole. We can see it almost instantaneously. And we can sit there and look at something like nepotism and we can know it's bullshit right on its face. We know our kids. Intellectually, you fucking know your kids are not the better than every other kid in the world. You know it intellectually. Emotionally, you might not be able to feel that. But you know it intellectually. And you can overcome behaving like a complete asshole because you think your kids are special. I mean, it's not that fucking complicated to overcome our fucking nature. That's like saying, I won't rape. We can understand. Okay, I might want to, but it's not mine to take. We can figure it out. It's just such bullshit to say that we have to act like a monkey. No, we don't have to act like a fucking monkey. We don't have to act like a gorilla. We don't have to act like a fucking slug. We don't have to act like any aspect of our primitive fucking history. That's just a fucking cop-out excuse for being a jackass. All right, S fucking racist to Neff. The irony is that Gary is holding a contest to give cash prizes for good ideas. Therefore, he does believe that people who have ideas can be incentivized by money and should be rewarded monetarily. Well, of course, when did I ever argue? I've arg I described my economic theory as incentive economics. Are you too stupid to figure out what that means? Of course, I believe people have to have incentives. I believe you put the carrots in front of the workers, not the lazy fucking assholes sitting on a pile of money. And you certainly don't give people carrots for being fucking born. God, you are such a dumb, ignorant, racist cunt. It seems that for Gary, the issue is whether or not it is okay to be a whore. For him, the only issue is the price. Well, of course, that's exactly. That's right. We are going to be a little bit selfish. We're all going to, go, we're going to need a personal incentive to do things. Yes, that's the concession. Uh, we need some cheese. We need, to, we need to satisfy a desire. We have, to, we, have to, we have to work our bodies. Our intelligence has to work our bodies as they are, as they're built, as they're constructed. They're desire machines. You have to feed the desire. You have to convert the good goal into something the body will desire, the, the psychology will desire. It's not that fucking complicated. If we were to live perfectly intelligently, we wouldn't have desire and then we wouldn't live. God, you're so fucking stupid. Um, all right, so Nick, in, to his credit, he calls her SS, which is good, because, yeah, she is a little Nazi fuck. 
Come on now, play fair. He does put forward a wage structure for various jobs in an organization. I would agree that the motivational bang for your buck is not much for the million dollars between. Uh, you, don't, you don't agree. Well, if, if the value of money is four times what it is now, the difference between $30,000 and uh, $500,000 is going to be goddamn huge. And uh, again, I, I think it is just a complete bullshit argument that somebody's going to work harder for their first for, for, for their 17th billionth dollar then they'll work for their first millionth dollar. It's just a pile of shit to make that argument. Um, I am fairy. Gara has no problem with blah blah blah. At the same time he argues that they cannot help being innovative and therefore do not really deserve the reward. No, I just, I've said it. They deserve fucking compensation for their productivity. They deserve to be paid for being productive. They don't deserve a lottery grand prize. God, you people are so fucking stupid. I'm talking about getting rid of the extremes. I'm talking about getting rid of the grotesque unfairnesses in the race. We can't get rid of the race because human beings like to race. But what we can do is stop preposterous nonsense like let's put one child 99% um, all the way down the track. Just a mere 1% does he have to run and force other people to run the whole 99%. Those kind of stupid unfairnesses we can wipe out in a millisecond. So you can have a much fairer game. We can't take every unfairness out of anything, but we can extract most of the unfairness. Damn, stupid cunt racist bitch. Um, so SF again, I guess he thinks no one deserves anything because no one has any responsibility or deserves any credit for what they did since they cannot do anything else. Well, it doesn't really have anything to do with what an individual deserves. It has to do with giving um, payment, rewarding productivity. So it's irrelevant what the individual deserves. It's about compensation for productivity. It's about rewarding productivity. You dumb, fucking, ignorant, cunt, racist bitch. Um, so we just need to determine how to distribute everything. Yeah, right, you build the fucking rules. What is so fucking complicated? Well, how is this a draconian thing? Let's build a baseball game where you can't use, uh, you know, a metal bat with spikes on it. Or you, or you can't just go up to the players on the other team and shoot them with your 9 millimeter, and then you win the game. Yeah, let's, it'd be really dumb to create a system of rules. Stupid, ignorant, cunt, racist bitch. Uh, so we just need, yeah, well, anyway, enough of her. Uh, it's not easy, is it? And then she said something, but I can't see. You know, she moved a comment. Oh, there is one. Corrected. Uh, here's the thing. Um, while I tend to think that people do feel we have no... <sighs> do have free will, no matter how much anyone tries to intellectualize it away. So she thinks we do have free will made out of magic unicorn dust. I do not know that it is a fact. However, it is my considered conclusion that if they do, they are better served by believing such a thing exists. It doesn't matter whether they believe it or not believe it. It doesn't have anything to do with the fact that you can't not know it any other way. You can't see the determinism. You cannot dissect your own fucking subconscious and see its determined nature. All you see is the product of it. So it's always going to remain invisible anyway. There is an evolutionary advantage in believing it is so. Now there's no, fuck you, they invented the condom. All you assholes who are going to talk about evolutionary advantage are just so full of shit. Rich people don't fucking breed. Intelligent people don't fucking breed. Okay, who's breeding on this planet? The fucking dumbest, stupidest morons on the fucking planet are doing all the goddamn breeding, you stupid, ignorant, dumb cunts. This is not an evolution issue. Okay, there's no, uh, Bill Gates didn't have 500 million children, did he? No, he didn't. So you're all full of fucking shit. Evolution. Evolution is stopped. We invented the condom. Evolution is no longer taking place. There is no natural selection in the human community anymore, you dumb fucking fucktards. All right, uh, well, anyway, I think I'm out of time. I didn't turn my timer on. You don't want to fuck up. Well, I got nine minutes. All right, I got two minutes. I really can't fuck up here. You got to really watch it. I bet Gary thinks that he is the one responsible for creating these brilliant diatribes. No, my brain is responsible, but it's completely irrelevant. It doesn't matter whose brain did it. Um, the fact is, though, I had to spend some time doing it, all right? So it did take effort. It took work. Uh, if it is simply genes, there is no you. 
that allows or causes someone to create the net. No, it's not your genes, you asshole. It's the environment you're born into, the exposure you have. You're, you're, you start off with a disposition, a capacity, and then you are exposed to an environment that either uh, uh, that either enhances that capacity or throws that capacity in the toilet. And that's just the, the fact of the matter. All right, I didn't make me, my environment made me. Um, it is simply a create the net. It does not follow that the net creator is genetically superior and therefore his offspring will be genetically superior as well. No, it doesn't follow, you dumb ass. <laughs> okay? Um, you don't have to be genetically sp superior intelligence if you take more schooling or you do more work to acquire your intelligence. You do more filter. You spend more time thinking. Then you're going to be smarter. But if you're really, really intelligent and you spend all day sitting in the swimming pool, that's not going to help, is it? No, dumbass. Um, we're both, in a way, think we are responsible for creating these videos. This is Nick. A lifetime of program does not fall off easily. Uh, no one does not, let's see, the net inventor has superior, okay, Nick's basically arguing the same point. It's not about genes, you asshole. Grow brains. Uh, this is not some sort of Nazi comment.